Today we're taking a look at the Seven Artisans 25mm f0.95. Recently, Seven Artisans reached out to me to ask if I would test out the 25mm f0.95 for the L mount ecosystem. Now, I've reviewed this lens in the past, but I do want to give an updated opinion on this lens, especially when it comes to using it with an L mount camera, whether it's the Sigma FP or the Lumix S52X or anything in the L mount ecosystem. And so, with that being said, let's get into my thoughts about this lens, starting first with the overall image performance of the lens. Now, something to keep in mind is that this is an APS-C only lens. And so you are gonna have a 35 millimeter field of view. And while this lens is really soft wide open, it does give you this more vintage characteristic swirly bokeh effect. And so I really enjoyed that about this lens. And even more, I've enjoyed this lens when you start stopping it down to F2 or F2.8 or even F4, because you do get a really good image out of this lens when you are stop down. I actually was surprised on how good the chromatic aberration control is, as well as the focus breathing. The focus breathing is really good on this lens, at least from what I've seen in my testing. Now you will also get some really interesting flaring and much like a vintage characteristic, the lens is going to have sharpness more so in the center of the frame and start to fall off around the edges. And so again, you're getting that more vintage characteristic with this lens. And so while this lens may be soft wide open, I've really been happy with the overall image that this lens does produce. And so with that, let's go in to talk about the build of this lens and some of the build features. This lens is an all metal lens. It offers a really sturdy build. Because this is a fully manual lens, you will have a physical aperture ring and focus ring. Being that this is a photo lens, the focus ring has a pretty decent focus throw and the aperture ring is declicked. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. The lens does have a 52 millimeter filter thread and comes with a slide on lens cap, which is also all metal. The lens mount does offer this kind of cool gun metal black finish and I'll list somewhere on the screen all the different mounts that is offered in. One thing I don't really like about the lens is going back to the aperture ring. The aperture ring is entirely too smooth for this lens. I found myself constantly turning the aperture ring on accident when I was trying to pull or rack focus. And so that is something that I would have liked to have seen be more of a clicked aperture ring, especially because this is a more photocentric lens. And so that's something you should expect when you do get your hands on this lens. But overall, I really do like how this lens is designed and built. So with that, let's talk about who this lens is for. Honestly, this lens is probably more of a niche market lens. Maybe you are someone that is looking for a smaller manual street photography lens that offers a more organic or vintage vibe to the look that it produces, then those are people I would recommend this lens for. And being that this lens does come in around $370, you're not necessarily going to break the bank picking up this lens. And so if you are someone that is looking for a low light beast of a lens, one that does offer a little bit more character and more of that vintage vibe, then I would absolutely recommend the Seven Artisans 25mm f0.95. And so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're digging the overall content from the channel, consider subscribing. As always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace.